Is the line that thick in your lip? Like Which that, one? That shape. Is it that shape? It's a crazy shape, dude. Boopy. You can smooth the back. <laughs> what was that thing? <laughs> Look at this, bro. I told you. This is the... What's up, guys? No, I'm, I'm gonna be normal. Oh, let's go chillin'. You guys were together at this point. All right, I'm here with JT and his wonderful girlfriend, Denali. <laughs> Um, if you don't know JT and you don't follow the channel, JT and I originally built this studio four summers ago. Um, he had his music and I had my art stuff and now he plays for Chelsea Cutler and he's traveling for the past year playing with them. But I wanted to make this video because I have so much footage of JT and I doing projects way before this studio and then kind of transitioning into the studio. And I thought it'd be interesting to see kind of young kids when we were like 18, four years ago doing creative projects and slowly just doing it for fun and continuing to do it and then building the studio and how that all came to fruition and giving some insight. And JT, you gonna give some insight about your path? Maybe. But we have so much footage that has never been seen and the first video you saw was like the most legendary video and it was on the channel a while ago, but I wanted to re-upload it because it's just so epic and I wanted more people to see it. And there's more videos like that. You just gotta dive deep in the channel. But there's a bunch of footage here that we have that are that's really crazy, cool project that I've never released. So we're just gonna react to it. So if you're into the, those types of videos, that we're, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, so that's- Broke the seal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so also if you can't see, we got like eight hard drives here. JT and I actually grew up, we knew each other since we were five. Denali, we were actually all roommates in New York for a couple months. JT and I knew each other <laughs> since we were five. We lived a mile away from each other for more than 10 years. And um, this is the first video, this is like the first pr like creative project we did together that we filmed. I was obsessed with filming for a while. We call it the Rhodes Project. So JT, what do you have to say about this? Let's just, let's actually go to... I brought my, yeah. let me bring my music stuff over to your house. And then we'll just jam it out. Yeah, we'll have a little studio session, painting. And then I was like, I don't know who suggested the idea. We're like, we can just paint on the bottom of it. And I didn't care at all. Project, but we were, we were gonna do, so then I painted it and then JT was gonna... I mean, he did, he did the, uh, the music part. And we were gonna like make, edit the video of him playing while I was painting, which is actually pretty much the same idea as that graffiti video. It's the same kind of idea. We just, I just never edit it, but here's the footage for you. All right, we're gonna have to dial your energy just up a little. We're at the beginning of the <laughs> beginning of all. Um, I'm really scared it's gonna be like a 30 minute video, but it's gonna be absolutely priceless. What's the next one? All right, so the next project we call Letty because it was at Letty Beach in Vermont, UVM, where they went to school, where they both went to school. And I was visiting, I actually hadn't seen JT for a while, but we were doing our creative projects and I wanted to do something wacky. So we took a uh, easel of mine and a canvas, woke up at the crack of dawn and JT brought his, his roads, the same one we're talking about. Sam and I separately do things that are pretty average. Painting is pretty normal, playing piano is pretty normal. We try to make a video to make it really cool. The only way to make things cool, I guess, is to do extreme things, but Art isn't that extreme. Skiing's pretty extreme. Cliff jumping extreme. So we put my now new roads in the water at 4 a.m. for no other reason than to make it like impactful that what we were doing was cool and worth our time. Right, like a creative project, and it wasn't just like a little. Like we obviously it wasn't a big production. We had a buddy filming us, but we we did kind of make it a big production by waking up in the morning, putting all of this stuff, organizing it. So it was like, it was an intentional creative project. There was no agenda other than just to do something kind of epic. But back then there was no reason really to do it other than just having fun and trying to get weird. Yeah, looking back and I wonder if people were thinking, about, I live with- four Yeah, I know, I think like, that too. We're gonna bring our keyboard into the, the water and Sam's gonna paint. It's like, you could just sleep and not do that. And JT's laptop did fall into the water. We just missed the footage. Yo, we'll go home and stick it in rice. Yeah. We had just finished shooting and then we we're giving each other a high five for completing it. And then we we're just looking at our gear that survived being in literally in, what is, what is it? Lake Champlain. In Lake Champlain with like little mini waves. And then just, it fell, dangled by the USB cord, and then just dropped. We didn't, have, we, didn't have, I, we, we didn't have the audio for it. I thought I, had, I thought I had the audio. You don't. Next hard drive, 2017. Wait, 
Letty, no, we had Rhodes, Letty. Was it LA then New York? Or did we do New York then LA? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie. Hi. Can you shut up, we're trying to film. All right, so the other project we did that we went so ham for, and this was actually when I was gung-ho about making a YouTube account and having like me and JT's creative project be like the whole idea and like we were gonna do that. That's what I thought. JT, I don't think was as in it as I was, but like I have footage of here like doing title and screen. About? I was equally gung ho about it. Yeah, you were, you were. You I were. was one coming there and yeah, being like, but it, was, it didn't cool. last as long. No, I was at all. I was like, let's vlog, blah, blah, blah. Like, let's yeah. vlog, blah, blah, Like we were vlogging, we were, we were doing like end title screens, but pretty much this creative project, we went on his brother's roof. Wow, that's awesome. Did you see this? That's probably not. Uh, we brought his piano again, so the heavy. Roads. Oh, dude, my skateboard. Sorry. We're doing, we're doing dumb things. Let's be as bad as this. Yeah. Crazy times. Dude, how many likes do you think you get on Instagram? <laughs> That's what we're aiming for, man. <laughs> so many. All of them. Yeah, easily. Through New York City, onto the roof with another canvas, another easel. And we were just doing the same kind of thing that we did in the water, just like kind of. On the roof. <laughs> yeah, just doing weird stuff. But it's like gang of people on. But so like this is again, we're t I'm talking about like transitioning. Obviously, we're documenting everything. We're trying to vlog. This is like the year of Casey Neistat when he was blowing up, so everyone was kind of doing that. And what skateboards were those? That's mine from LA. Oh, that's probably mine. No, it's not. Yeah, it's yours. Oh, these are Jake's. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're obviously documenting this to document and maybe edit, but it, again, the agenda was just to continue to do cool projects and JT and I were just trying to, you know, bounce ideas off each other, I guess. Yeah, um, it's really good stuff, dude. This oh stuff? Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Yeah, bro. We got suits. We brought our suits. Yeah, yeah. yeah that round glasses. We had a whole scene. <laughs> we had... Oh my god, we went so ham. What was it? The... I know, there was no point. Like, we didn't ever you end up doing that? anything, but we, we, we were just doing stuff. You were, I remember you were loving it. I was loving this suit, dude. It fit perfectly. And then, like, it All turned right. into something sick. I ended up Felly, the you rapper. restart. We decided to go to LA. I decided to go to LA senior year of college because I was like, I'm graduating college. I want to make music, make money. So we hit up Felly, who, this rapper that I kind of know, don't really know at all. He's from our town. From our town. I hit him up a little later. I was like, yo, if I come to LA, can we make some jams? And he's like, sure. And I hit up Sam. I was like, yo, I'm going to LA. Do you want to film some stuff, do some graffiti street art stuff? Because that was what Sam was pretty much solely into at that time. And it turned into the most epic trip pretty much ever. And we were still young. Yeah. But we got like two hundred fifty bucks, fifty dollars. Literally just as free as you could possibly be. Yeah, and there's actually like you gotta go see. I'm putting footage over right now, but there's three huge vlogs, which are like the biggest videos I made at that point on this YouTube channel. It's LA Vlog One, Two, and Three. Uh, Manhattan Beach Boardwalk. What? See my whole cock. Hey. I can't freestyle. Just a boardwalk uh. with some pink shoes hey. and two dudes. We spray paint and play the piano. Uh. <laughs> I paint with Kipto. JT, you know, plays with Felly. And what else do we do? We go to Venice Beach. JT slashes his hand open and plays piano on Venice Beach. Like, it's a really incredible yeah, trip. And it was kind of like the culmination, I guess you could say, of like the past year and a half of us doing cool projects. And it was just a huge trip and one for the books. So there's like terabytes of footage. But Oops. after that was what really, I think, sparked looking for a space to do it even more, AKA building yeah, a was... studio, right? Would you say? <laughs> yes, good guess. <laughs> four years oh, feels like- Oh, are fucking really- I'm not, I'm not old, but four years feels like five months. What? No, I think we we're so, yeah, I mean, I think it's both. I think four I'm years not, ago, I'm, we I'm saying, so I'm not, I'm saying I'm not old now, but like four yeah. years ago, it feels like it was recently. Well, I think it seems really long ago, actually, but also very not long ago at the same time, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Is equal from your belly button to your nipple. <laughs> Fortunately, models, models, that's what that's the models belly buttons are. Thanks, dude. So we got back from LA end of March, 2017. Pretty much in April, we started looking for a space just to work more. I wanted a studio. I actually was also moving from my garage where you saw most of those other videos where I spray painted. Mm -hmm. So I wanted another space. JT wanted a music space. I've always wanted a music studio. Right, so it was kind of like perfect timing, but yeah. we, 
like wasn't our agenda. It was kind of like, let's try it out. Let's see what we can do. And then on the way home from some weekend in college to go home to Connecticut, I remember like being in the car and I called this random number of which is this current place. And it was like, yo, do you have any spaces available? And like, yeah, we have this one 800, no, 1200 square mm -hmm. foot space. If you want to come check it out. And I was like, ha ha, no way I can actually do that. Right. There's another little space we could check out too. Cause we didn't have any idea what we were just or like, really oh, we'll check it out. Yeah, I was with no money. But what we did do is we went and we checked it out and we asked questions. And again, people always think this is so expensive and it looks really nice. It's in a huge old factory. There's a hundred tenants. We put so much money into this place so we have a grandfathered monthly rent, or I do now, JT doesn't have it anymore, but it's a grandfathered monthly rent from four years ago at a low price. If I moved out, the price would double, but because we put so much work in four summers ago, it stayed like this. I have a good relationship with the administration, whatever. But we were just like going, <laughs> we were just free balling. Like there, again, I keep saying this, but there was no agenda. We were kind of just like, oh, let's get this. Oh, we both have enough money. I was working at a restaurant for two years, JT. So was we started working that yeah, there. so we just decided to do this. We, it was like a six months kind of like rent. And we just, you know, I started painting here. I put up murals, JT had all his instruments. We did a couple cool videos. And that was from pretty much June to August. At the end of August, JT got a job in New York City. Let's keep I looking at footage also. Go, going, going into the idea of getting a space together, we didn't really have an end goal or a plan of what was gonna happen once we had the space, what was gonna happen afterwards. We just wanted to have fun and make dope shit together in a room. It yeah. didn't end up working out for me that well, just because this place is the least soundproof place of all time. Mm -hmm. But Sam got an amazing studio out of it. It's got incredible use out of it. I had fun for what lasted and I ended up moving anyways. So if I didn't have it, then I would have never been a part of this. Right. And I wouldn't have been friends. And then... Well, also, I mean, I wouldn't have, couldn't have done it without JT. Like we built it together. I would have never, this was a huge kind of fantasy dream that we really stumbled upon, somehow made it happen, did a bunch of construction and it worked out in that first year. You know, I was still working full time and then I also went back to school. So, I mean, it was a slow progression. I've said this in other videos of kind of being in here and painting and I would make the videos, but I, I was super gung ho with you trying to do YouTube and like that summer when it was like the summer, we're both free. Like, let's just make a bunch of vlogs and film and do a cool project. That's all I wanted to do. And then I had to go back to work. I went back to school, but um, it all started. Right, it all started well, with that same, inception of just wanting to do cool stuff. And it's all right, right, it's all right. Look, I hear, what, what, what my body over here? I'm looking like a pear. <laughs> you look like <laughs> You look like an old, like, washed up dad, like, musician. <laughs> That's kind of it. I mean, there's so many projects I'll put in from the, the bunker of that, that vlogging summer. Um, that's it, that's just it for the studio. Well, I mean, so to wrap this up, I just wanted to not only dive back into our amazing friendship and amazing projects we did, cause we, I mean, I and him were pretty obsessed with documenting. So there's amazing, footage of all of our stuff, but also to share this with everyone and to kind of really sort of delineate that, that process, the path that me specifically with JT took to where I am now as a full-time artist with this big epic studio. And you know, it didn't just, I became an artist and this is the studio or JT, you know, kind of is now playing professionally touring. It's like we started with doing what we liked just together as friends, you know, it's a rare opportunity. You have a friend like that, but, and we just kept doing it, kept doing it. Then we decided to do something a little bigger and did that. And it was just like bouncing, ping ponging, doing projects. And, and so for all the kids who are younger, like that was when we were 18, now we're both 25, but it starts with just doing what you want and having fun for no reason, not for money, not for social media, anything, just, you know, having fun with your friends. Would you like to add anything? I think it is ingrained that 
I love to do projects. Even though I don't do that many projects right now, I still I still love doing them and I enjoy them. And if you just find yourself immersed in a project, which Sam does way more than I do, you can gain satisfaction and fulfillment. And people who want, like, you gotta find people who wanna do those projects. Like, I, what, JT never convinced well, after, me, after, I never after convinced after cut him. Me off, I'll cut him off now. <laughs> so, <laughs> my point being, I think you can get as much fulfillment from your current project as you would, as you, you can get as much fulfillment from a current project that you're doing you can get as much fulfillment from a current project you're doing than the fulfillment you think you'd get from being wherever you think you should be. Like if you think you're gonna like end up having a sick studio in the end and you focus all your attention on somehow getting that studio and don't put 100% of your effort into the sick piece of painting you're making right now, your studio will never come to you. I agree. Because you spend 60% of your effort on the painting and 40% online looking at houses or fucking stuff. Right, and that idea, so it's like... And if you, yeah, so if you give 10 projects 100% effort, you'll be worth way more than 60% effort and then try to eventually attain something else. Yes. So, words of wisdom. You heard it here first. Dolly? <laughs> yeah, on that note. <laughs> on that note. So hopefully you enjoyed the video <laughs> and saw, got to see window into our some creative projects of kids. That's all. There's a bunch of footage. All of the hard drives I put in and tried to overlay give you a bunch of good B-roll while we're talking. Sorry. Uh, like the video if you like collaborations and friendship and projects and go find yourself some friends and don't take friends who want to do cool f projects for granted because you never know what might happen four years later. You might be vlogging. That's it. Let's let's make let's all let's make all do the. You know what I mean? Yeah, grab her.